Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the first annual AUBH International Day, conceived as one world, diverse nations, and unifying us in tolerance and inclusivity through unique cultural experiences, food, fashion, art, language, etc. Hope you're already enjoying the day. Looks like some of you are. We're very appreciative to hold this event under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs. Unfortunately, His Highness could not be here today, but he has uh, deputized one of my very favorite people. Just in case you all don't know her. Um, it, we have with us today Her Excellency, the Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, Her Excellency Dr. Shekha Rana bin Isa bin Dej Al Khalifa, who is not only a wonderful uh, addition to the uh, higher education group, but also somebody I'm honored to call a friend. Thank you for coming. They will be recognizing and thanking uh, all kinds of people because you know, an event like this, it takes a village. So we've got uh, embassies here, we've got some wonderful organizations, we've got some great vendors. There are a lot of people who are responsible for making today, today. And we will be thanking them in the next, um, in the next hour, I think personally. And we'll get to visit all of the booths and uh, see all of the events at the same time. But I do want to give a special shout out if you don't mind. And that is to the AUBH students. So for those AUBH students who are here for the last couple of nights, working tirelessly on setting this up, you guys rock. You guys really, really rock. And I am so proud of you. I couldn't be more proud if I was your mother. <laughs> Apparently, some of you think I am. Also, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, our great staff for putting this together. There are too many people to mention, so I won't do that by name, but you know who you are. You run facilities, you run marketing, <laughs> you run finance, you run operations, your faculty, and you're a provost, <laughs> but you're all here. And thank you so much. Uh, it really uh, is looking like a, a great event today, and I'm really happy to be part of it and share all of that with, uh, with all of you. So why are we here today? Why are we celebrating this International Day? So one day we were talking as a senior group about you know, how we can be the fabric of this kingdom, how AUBH can follow the leadership of the kingdom and all of the great goals that it has, not just for Vision of 2030, but the leadership that we've seen in COVID, the leadership we've seen uh, with the Abraham Accords, the leadership that we've seen uh, long ago and coming back up again in education, over the last, uh, geez, that was about, what, 102, 103 years ago, the first formal education. Uh, finance, oil. I mean, we've had a lot of really uh, uh, great times here and some good firsts. So we're celebrating, of course, all of that. And AUBH would like to follow suit with that and, and emulate that leadership of the kingdom. So let me just say a few things about AUBH. <laughs> you know, um, this is the first annual, and you see there are uh, many people here. We had a president's run last year, had over 500 people. A lot of you were uh, at the president's run as well. We had last year, run by our faculty, the very first annual research conference where we had hundreds of people participate virtually. It was also amazing. You know, the thing about us is we want to be on the world stage just like this kingdom. We want to do great things here. We want to follow the best global practices. We want to have a really dynamic environment for our students. We want our students to be fantastic when they leave here, not just qualified, not just ready for work, but fantastic. We want them to be able to go anywhere and do anything. We want them to have, of course, a lifetime of success. But let me just share a little bit of a, a secret. Oh, maybe it's not a secret anymore. A cat's out of the bag now. About the AUBH spirit. The thing is, if people tell us to act our age, our age is like three, right? So we act like a toddler. But actually, we act like we're, oh, at least 100. We actually don't realize all the time that we are a small organization. And the most important thing, and don't forget this, we 
Don't think small here. So we have a lot on our horizon, so you all can stay tuned. We'll be doing amazing things on this campus. Okay, without further ado, I would like to introduce, as I, I introduced before, so I'll introduce you all again, the Secretary General for the Higher Education Council, Her Excellency, Dr. Shakarana Vindisa, uh, Vinisa Vindej Al Khalifa. Please come to the stage and welcome. Excellencies, good afternoon. I would like to begin by Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, for his kind patronage of today's event and for deputizing me uh, in his place here today. So for, I send you all his warmest regards. Uh, he would have wanted to be here, but unfortunately he was out of the country. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to my dear friend, Professor Susan Saxton, the founding president of the American University Bahrain, for kindly inviting me and offering me the privilege to speak at today's event. Additionally, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the organizers and hosts of this conference, chiefly the academic and administrative staff at AUBH. Last but certainly not least, I would like to vo voice my sincere appreciation to all the various participants for their attendance and contribution to today's event. As you all know, we are here today to take part in AUBH's first ever International Day. Today, our hosts will help us all celebrate the world's, the world's various different cultures and heritage as we bear witness to live performances, feasts on delicious international cuisines, and engage in all sorts of fun games and activities. When asking me to take part in today's celebration, Dr. Saxon told me something very inspiring, but also very true, about the relationship between education and humanity's shared heritage and destiny. She said, Education is usually at the forefront of cultural change, tolerance, and collaboration. Well, Dr. Susan, I couldn't agree with you more. Education and culture are so intimately linked with one another as you can rarely speak about them separately. Together at school or in university, the celebration of culture diversity affords students the chance to learn about other cultures, to appreciate their ways, their own cultural ideas, affects their beliefs, and to minimize discriminatory attitudes. So nonetheless, managing diversity isn't always easy. Language barriers, disputes over religious beliefs, and cultural differences in communication styles can all make embracing diversity challenging and a bit uncomfortable. This is why extracurricular activities such as today's event offers such an important platform for us to address some of these issues with comfort and in safe space for all. Under the wise guidance of our country's leadership, we have really managed to shine a light on and booster the age-old promise of Bahrain to all of the denizens of the world. These islands are a place of peace and a place for life for all people. Not despite their difference, but rather because of them. Bahrain has always been and will continue to be a melting pot for all value systems and groups of people. Not only because we share and embrace one another for what individually makes us special and distinct, but also because together on Zeitgeist of Bahrain's national na spirit are on the display before us here today. I've already said more than enough. I think I wouldn't like to delay the celebrations any further, but I will leave you all with an impression of how my own personal identity has shaped and encouraged my view on the importance of accepting, acquainting oneself with different people and cultures. 
In the Holy Quran, Allah the Almighty declares to humanity that we have created you from male and female and made you nations and tribes that you may know one another. So go forth everyone, make a merry and enrich yourselves with all the knowledge of different cultures, the ways of life. Thank you all and may you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much.